Okay, we are at the U.S. Army Heritage Center in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. It's actually outside of Carlisle Barracks. So you don't actually have to have a uh, pass to get inside any military base. It's open to the public, it's free. And you can kind of see it consists of two main parts open to the public. And that's the uh, interior displays and pieces, as well as an exterior walking trail that we're gonna be hitting. You can see in the background there, there's I-81. So a lot of you have probably seen this as you drove by and wondered what the heck it is. We're gonna go ahead and find out. So whenever I do an RV, places to stop, I always take a look at the parking lot. And as you can see here, it's a pretty wide open space. It's just off I-81 with easy on and easy off. There's no designated RV parking, but the parking lot's pretty wide. And I would think that unless you're on a Saturday or Sunday with a massive rig, you should be able to find a place to pull in your RV and stop and check out the Heritage Center. Okay, we're gonna start the one mile Heritage Trail. And as you can see, this is just kind of a cool beginning here. And that instead of just having standard posts, they have these obstructions that are reminiscent of the beaches of Normandy here to keep motorized vehicles from hitting the path, but just kind of a cool way to start things off. And again, you can see, uh, I-81 off in the distance there, which probably many of you Airstreamers and RVers have traveled. We're gonna check this thing out right now. Avoiding these obstacles here. All right, let's All right you can see this M109 pallet in here, which is a field artillery piece. And of course, even here they have to I wonder who's gonna steal this thing. Why do you have to bolt this thing down? I can see like a park bench or something, but having to bolt this thing down? I'm not too certain of that. We've all heard about improvised explosive devices with operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. You can see kind of here, they've got some examples of a, a round kind of stored in a tire alongside the road here. And if you go around, check out how an explosive could be hidden behind this uh, guardrail here. So examples of how our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan had to identify these things and avoid them at all costs. Okay, in this part of the exhibit, we're gonna be seeing the Army heritage with regards to World War I and the trench warfare. And this is kind of interesting. I know I visited the battlefields in Verdun on a uh, high school trip and just the trench warfare to me was just so so amazing and to see what happened in Verdun we're going to go ahead and see some exhibits here as to how the army dealt with uh trenches back in the 1917 1918 time period all right let's go ahead and go down into this trench look at this what they don't show is it these things were often filled with water, all kinds of vermin. Imagine attacking, having to attack and kind of look out. Let's go ahead and pretend we're looking out here. The battlefields of I-81 are redone, depending upon how your imagination can run. You can see this trenches here. Let's check it out. Check out the camouflage on this tank. This is from Korea. And I thought this was just kind of a, kind of a fun thing or maybe something that was done later on, but this was the actual camouflage that was used in battle. And the battalion commander described it as the year of the tiger, 1951, which was the year these tanks were deployed in Korea. And they were trying to make themselves look fearful to the Chinese. So there you have that cool camouflage. Here we've moved on to the Cold War section. You can see an AH-1 uh, Cobra helicopter looking pretty mean with its gun and a shark mouth. They've really done a good job of setting this thing up for a presentation, as well as some of the other Cold War stuff. The M60 tank. Yeah, so this is just a cool place to visit. Um, I highly recommend it. Cindy is at home for my brother's quarters right now doing some stuff so I've been kind of a dude day checking out the Army Heritage Center we're about to 
enter an area which is the indoctrination area for a World War II soldier. So it explains how soldiers from World War II were to be indoctrinated into the army. And we'll check that out here shortly. Ooh, there's a mess hall. It's always my favorite thing. Let's go check out that. You can see here, this is the mess hall. And another display here, which would be a barracks. <clears throat> I would bet they would probably be a little bit tighter than this, but that's just uh, just me. What do I know? They probably know a lot more about this stuff than I do. These activity books that you can do, and there's all kinds of stuff for youths, like crossword puzzles and questions and facts and different types of things that you can do as you move along the uh, heritage trail here as you hit each of the sites. So it's really kind of cool. Plus, I was noticing at each of the, many of the stations there, they would include questions for middle school students and questions for high school students. So I'm sure there's a lot of school groups go through here, but if you're with uh, your family, it would also be a great thing to do. All right, we finished the tour outside. And now we're going to go inside. Pretty cool here, green little Jeep right there. Of course, we got a sweet gift shop here. We got all kinds of Army Pride stuff. So we're here inside the Army Heritage Center at the uh, various displays depicting everything from uh, the entire history of the Army, basically, from revolutionary all the way up to uh, the war on global terrorism. So I've got my card, which I have a soldier, his dog tag are from the Korean War. So I've been using that to learn more about my individual soldier. And we're going to go ahead and keep checking things out. See, they've got some experiences like uh, being a gunner in a Huey helicopter. Uh, parachuting, I was able to fire a uh, simulated weapon and take a marksman test. The weapon was clearly not sighted because I had difficulty hitting the target, and that was not the problem. It was clearly the weapon was not sighted. Now let's go see how my. Uh how my soldier did. I'm going to go ahead and insert this. There's my guy. So he lived. Which is pretty cool. Wow. All the way from Korea to Operation Desert Storm. Amazing. Okay, well that about does it for the Army Heritage Center here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania right off of I-81, a great place to take your RV or Airstream. You have the outside um, Heritage Trail, as well as a number of great exhibits here on the inside. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, definitely subscribe down below. Give us a thumbs up if you thought it was pretty cool. And if you are ever in the I-81 area, definitely consider taking your RV uh, to the Army Heritage Center, checking things out, supporting our military, and those who serve. Until next week, we'll see you down the road.